eighth grade science unit 11 it's going to be um, interdependence among living systems it's going to be questions 1 through 20 for Cole and Roberts let's get to number one feel free to pause the recording hit the pause button anytime you need additional time in between questions so that you have time to answer it number one according to the food web above which organism or organisms prey on the suckerfish? A. Raccoon and muskrat. B. Trout and muskrat. C. Watercress and cattails. D. Only trout. Number two, which of the following is a similar characteristic of parasite host and predator prey relationships? F. In both cases, both organisms in the interaction are destroyed. G. In both cases, both organisms in the interaction benefit. H. Neither organism is harmed in the interactions. J. In both cases, one organism benefits and the other is harmed. Number three. A company purchased a large forest and cut the trees for lumber. Sunlight, which had not reached the forest floor before, was now very bright on the bare ground. Holly ferns began to grow rapidly because of increased access to light and moisture. Which population of organisms would be in direct competition with the holly ferns for the same resources? A. Spotted owls. B. Squirrels. C. Hawks. D. Wildflowers. Number four, fossils of tropical plants and animals can be found buried in limestone rock in the North Texas area. These plants and animals are no longer found in this region. What is the most likely cause of the disappearance of these tropical plants and animals? F, earthquakes and vol volcanoes destroyed all the tropical plants and animals. G, tropical animals ate all the tropical plants and everything died out. H, air pollution and acid rain killed off all the tropical plants and animals. Or J, the climate in that area is different today than when tropical plants and animals live there. Number five, which of the following best describes a predator-prey relationship in the forest? A, bacteria and mold break down fallen leaves on the forest floor. B, a spotted owl swoops down and captures a mouse. C. A deer eating the green leaves and berries on a holly bush. D. Mistletoe growing on a mesquite tree. Number six. Looking at the uh, diagram above, which organisms are in competition for the same food source? F. Fox and owl. G. Spider and fly. H, rabbit and mouse. J, deer and owl. You can pause, pause button if you need more time in between questions. Number seven, plants need sunlight to perform photosynthesis. In the tropical rainforest, the survival of a plant depends upon its ability to adapt in order to reach sunlight. Which of the following is an example of one such adaptation? A. Vines that wrap around a tree. B. Thin, shallow roots that run across the forest floor. C. Numerous small leaves on one stem. D. Colorful petals. Number 8. In Austin, Texas, a well-known salamander inhabits the waters of the spring outflows of Barton Springs. This is the perfect habitat for the Barton Springs salamander since it thrives in fresh and pure continuous flowing water. They may inhabit underground or surface environments. They have been observed in water, under and among rocks and gravel, as well as within plants and algae. They consume small aquatic organisms. What is the most likely way that humans could have a damaging impact on the Barton Springs salamander? F, polluting the water, G, floating down the river. H, adding new water vegetation. 
J, adding new crustaceans. Number nine, which of the following is not an example of how biotic factors interact with abiotic factors in an ecosystem? A, a lion preys on a herd of gazelle. B, plants remove carbon dioxide from the air and add oxygen. C, animals cause erosion by digging in the dirt. D, a lizard raises its body temperature by using heat from the sun. Number 10, which organism above has, a, has both a predator-prey and a producer-consumer relationship in its diet? F, arctic hare, G, caribou, H, lemming, J, arctic fox. All right, we're halfway there. Number 11. Large forest fires started by lightning have been common in parts of the western and northwestern United States in the past few years. The forest ecosystem is changed by this natural disaster. In addition to the loss of property, there are other ways that forest fires affect the environment. Which of the following is a result of a large forest fire? A. Wildlife populations will increase in the area. B. Wildlife populations will decrease in the area. C, new plant growth will decrease for many years. Or D, all new organisms will populate the area. Number 12, in the food web below, which two organisms have a producer-consumer relationship? F, squirrel and grass. G, hawk and squirrel. H, rabbit and grass. J, rabbit and acorns. Number 13. A particular type of bird carries the genes for its offspring to either have a short, strong beak or a long beak. The strong beak is great for crushing nuts, while the longer beak is used to get to water in little spaces. Normally, 70% percent of the bird population have short strong beaks while only 25 percent have long beaks. If the area in which the bird lives experience a 10-year drought, what change in beak type could be expected in the population? A. More birds would have a short beak. B. More birds would have a long beak. C. The beaks would not change. D. The adult birds would stay the same but baby birds would all have longer beaks. Number 14, when offshore oil rigs are finished drilling, the platforms are sunk into the ocean. How does this impact organisms in the area? F, the platform destroys all organisms in the area. G, the platform releases chemicals into the area. H, the platform is used for future oil research. J, the platform provides a habitat for organisms. Number 15, phytoplankton consists of microscopic plants that float in the water. When urban pollution runoff makes it to the oceans, it poses a threat to humans by killing numerous phytoplankton. How does reducing the number of phytoplankton most directly affect humans? A, the atmosphere will contain more carbon dioxide, resulting in warmer global temperatures. B, the atmosphere will contain more oxygen, resulting in warmer global temperatures. C, the atmosphere will contain more carbon dioxide, resulting in cooler global temperatures. Or D, the atmosphere will contain more oxygen, resulting in cooler global temperatures. Number 16. Which of the following is an example of a producer-consumer relationship in the food web above? F. Trout raccoon. G. Crayfish muskrat. 
H. Suckerfish Trout. J. Cattails Beaver. Number 17. Many animals that live in regions with cold climates, such as the taiga, will migrate to warmer regions once the cold weather begins. Other animals have adapted to the extreme cold and seasonal changes. The ermine, a small weasel-like mammal, does not migrate to warmer regions. In order to survive the harsh, snowy conditions, the population of ermine had to adapt over time. The main predators of ermine are owls, hawks, and larger carnivores. In order for the ermine species to survive in these conditions, which of the following adaptations most likely occurred in this population of mammals? A. The ermine learned to hunt prey in a zigzag pattern. B. Males and females in the population began living in separate territories. C. The ermine's dark brown coat in the summer changes to white in the winter. D. Mating patterns of the ermine changes from summer to spring. Number 18. How many organisms in this food web above eat only producers? Record your answer and fill in the bubbles on your answer document. Be sure to use the correct place value. How many organisms in this food web eat only producers? Number 19, which two organisms are most likely to be competitors in the diagram above? A, chipmunk cow, B, snake hawk, C, snake badger, or D, chipmunk badger? And number 20 is your last question. Decomposers break down fallen leaves on the forest floor. When they do this, they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and nitrogen to the soil. Which of the following organisms would be most likely to be decomposers? F. Bacteria and mold. G. Deer. H. Grasses. Or J. Mountain lions. And that's the end of your test.